Lifting Up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. Okay, let's understand this question. We deal with this at some length in the book Shadows of the Beast concerning the Antichrist. The term in Hebrew for morning is star of the dawn, shachar, shachar. It does not say the same thing. If we look at the Septuagint and the Hebrew and the Greek New Testament, they're not exactly the same, but they are very close. One is the star of the morning. The other is the bright and morning star. The star of the dawn, the bright and morning star. Concerning Jesus, all four Gospels tell us that he rose at dawn when it was still dark. He rose at dawn when it was still dark, according to all four Gospels. That's Jesus, okay? Satan is the counterfeiter. In Isaiah chapter 14, we see Satan described similarly, but not exactly the same. The wording is slightly different. The Antichrist will counterfeit Christ. For instance, in this same book, Revelation, we see the Lord Jesus coming, and he's coming on a white horse. But before he comes on a white horse, at the end of the book of Revelation, okay, we see the Antichrist coming on a white horse as the first seal in the book of Revelation, chapter 6. Not the same person. Not the same horse, but one looks like the other, and one comes before the other, okay? The Antichrist will attempt to counterfeit the resurrection of Jesus by the power of Satan. Satan will be cast down from heaven, and when the Antichrist is assassinated, he'll come back to life in counterfeit of the resurrection of Jesus, at which point he will be a de facto incarnation of Satan. This counterfeit. Antichrist counterfeits Christ. Jesus is light, the true light coming into the world. Hence, Satan manifests himself as an angel of light. The Shahar, the dawn, the bright and morning star, and the star of the morning. You have an adjectival distinction between the two. Satan is not described with the brightness of Jesus. But he's trying to look like it. There's always a counterfeit. You know, always a counterfeit. You've got real revivals. <clears throat> and then in Toronto and Pensacola, you've had counterfeits. In Lakeland, you have counterfeits. Uh, you know, you've got Jesus coming on a white horse in Revelation, so the Antichrist comes on a white horse. You have the bright and morning star, so you have the star of the morning. Always look, not just at the similarities between two apparently related texts, but the differences. The differences. Baal worship had an annual resurrection narrative. Every spring, Baal would raise from the dead. The Canaanites had holy days, thanking their pagan gods, their demon gods, as Moses identified them, for the harvests, for the agricultural produce on the same days of the year the Hebrews did. I recall being in Erdfu, Egypt, a temple that was there in the time of Moses in Egypt, where you had an outer court, a holy place, and a holy of holies, where the high priest only entered once a year. 
but he was a high priest of the demon god of Egypt, Osiris. You can read the Psalms of Osiris and almost, almost word for word. They parallel the Psalms of David, except they're worshiping a different god, attributing eternal glory to demonic deities. Satan always counterfeits. He tries to appear, be it a white horse, you, you, you know, be it a temple with a priest, or be it a resurrection. That's what the morning star and the star of the morning, the brighter morning star, relate to. It's dealing with spiritual counterfeit and satanic, not just demonic, but satanic deception that will ultimately culminate with the person of Antichrist and his counterfeit of the resurrection, where instead of Jesus being the star of the dawn, the bright and morning star, Satan will attempt to counterfeit it. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.